look, it's a Segway train. So after a few days in Rome, we're gonna head to Naples. It's pretty crazy how many keys this place has. So just to get into our room, there is the front door, the gate, floor door, room door. So you need four keys just to get into the room. Then I don't even know what this big key does, but it looks pretty serious. And then there's the key for the safe, which is pretty awesome because it looks like a really old skeleton key. The ferry gorgy to Paris. So this is how much luggage we have. It doesn't look like that much, but each suitcase is about 50 pounds. Instead of taking the train, we're taking the bus. It's about one-fifth the cost, and it's a bit longer. So the train is about an hour and 10 minutes to get from Rome to Naples, but the bus is about three hours. So we're gonna be saving a lot of money on the bus. Plus, you get to see a lot of Italian countryside. Finally, we have a lot of luggage. And in general, when you're traveling with that much heavy luggage, riding a train, it's actually a lot more annoying because you have to lug the luggage all around the train, find places to put our luggage, and also getting on and off the train, even though you have to only do it twice, is pretty darn hard. Finally, going to a bathroom when you have that much luggage is actually also really annoying. So, just in general, we find taking buses are not only cheaper, but easier when you have a lot of luggage. It's been about 15 minutes and we're still waiting for the bus to the bus terminal so we can get to Naples. The ferry gorgy to Paris! The ferry gorgy to Paris! And we're finally on the bus, heading to Tiburtina. Hopefully we'll make it to our bus in time. We're at Tiburtina now, so it's time to grab an espresso and wait for our next bus. It's only 0.8 euro and it's just right next to the train station. It's probably the best espresso I've ever had. Grazie. So if the previous bus was any indication, I think we're gonna have a little bit of time to wait before our next bus. The only caveat to that is buses tend to be late. They're dependent on traffic, the frequency of the previous bus, and a bunch of other factors, while trains tend to typically be on time. So if you're taking a bus, you need to make sure that you have ample time to factor in your next mode of transportation after you get off the bus. Otherwise, you're going to be suffering through lots of re-planning and rescheduling in order to get to your next destination. The ferry gorgy to Paris. It took three hours to get across the city. Google Maps said it would take an hour. It took actually three hours, but we're here. Bye bye Rome. See you next time. It took about three hours, but we're finally in Naples. We just got to our hotel. It's super hot. And it's a pretty nice room. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick shower and then we're gonna head off and check out some other places to look around Naples. We didn't actually get to research that much, so more exploring today than anything else. The ferry gorgy to Paris. So Naples is a city that's over 2,000 years old. And looking at the streets, buildings, the walls, everything seems really gritty and slightly aged. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. As you can see there's a lot of stores.
odds of things are going on in the city. Possibly more so than even in Rome. But we're just scratching the surface of people's day. So we're going to spend some more time looking at other stuff. Now for some food. We're at Gino y Toto Sorbillo. It should not be confused with any other Sorbillo named restaurant. As you can see, this place is packed. This pizza has parma ham, basil, and mushrooms. And cheese. That's it. This is a traditional margarita with buffalo mozzarella. That's it. Just a bunch of pizza. I feel pretty full. I need more sleep than I first started. I'm gonna head back to the hotel. It's just pretty damn exhausted.